in the cross, you have the Son of God, God himself who becomes human, who allows humans to torture and kill him in order to save the very people that are torturing him. That kind of God, the God of the cross, he can be trusted even when all other kinds of explanation, everything else that appears around us fails. That kind of God can be trusted. Because if we think about it, if there was any other way for God to deal with the problem of evil in the world, wouldn't he have chosen it? Even if you might be tempted to think, oh, maybe God isn't good after all. Right. Maybe he's selfish. Maybe he doesn't really have our best interest in mind. The God of the cross, Jesus, shows that to be utterly false. Because if there was any other way, he would have chosen it. And so we can ask the question that's actually raised in Isaiah 5. What more could he do that he has not done? And when you look at what Jesus has done for us and in the cross, there's nothing more that could have been done.